Guacha, guacha. Guacha, ¿qué pasó? Three amigos, ¿eh? Huh? What are Charles doing out so late? In the barrio, bad things happen when the sky turns black. Vámonos, Montezuma. Go sit some badunga off your old man and get fucked up, man. Just go hang with them vatos. No, I gotta go. My mom's gonna whip my ass. Talk to later, son. Rolls down the hill, and in the hood. I got my own spotlight tonight, huh? How does it feel to be the star of the show, Emilio? Only my abuela calls me Emilio, is she? To you, a shadow. You come back to Big Mother Leg. Two police officers were ambushed and shot tonight. Both are in the ICU. You know anything about that? John, I'm just a peace-loving, law-abiding citizen, I say. You get into my shit, I say. Is that it? Shut up. Notice that both stop signs on the end of the block have been sawed down. You know how that happened? Oh. El Chicano, the ghetto grim reaper, leaves a mark as a warning to the evil that lives on that block. Do you know any evil that lives here, Emilio? Well, guess have a good rest of the evening. No drinking and driving, okay? Enjoy the rest of your night. Lock those wheels, it's downhill, bro. Fuck that, bro. Fuck the hoodah. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And you, motherfucker, walk hard in my barrio. I'll steal your motherfucking soul, punk. He cuts our hearts like the Aztecs and chops up criminals for blood sacrifice. He can't be killed. He's the boogeyman. He's the Kokoi. Where are you at, Chicano? Let me see your face, motherfucker. <laughs> You're gonna die for this.
man, stop! Hey, stop chasing that asshole, hey. Yo, that's just some crackhead took off in the scrum. Hey, you with me? Yeah. Hey, we got silent. Come on. Man, I've seen a lot of fucked up shit. I've never seen anything like this. These guys, they hose down the fucking crime scene. There's no blood. It's a war zone. Jesus Christ. We're silent. We got him in the back room. How about the cab? You on his way? Yeah, Gomez is rolling up now. Hey, you two. Stay off the radio, okay? Make sure they don't talk to dispatch. Fucking hot in here. Good to go. Look at that. And this motherfucker. Double tap. This motherfucker came across the desk last week, man. Double tap. Yeah. This is a big piece of work. Now, whoever did this, you know, they've done this before. There's a professional here. Talk to me. Well, based on the fact that we got silent back there and I don't have these fucking buckles, these are all shotgun thieves. Maybe most of the clica. The upper tier buckles, at least, all double tapped, all less than a quarter of an inch between the wounds. Pros. Major. Any drugs? No, nothing yet. Okay, here's what we got. The FBI, they're gonna be breathing down our backs. DEA, the ATF. But I'll be fucked if I'm gonna let a red ball like this go federal, not in my backyard. Murder cases this size, they're career makers, son. Do you understand that? How long can you stall them out? 24 hours max, then the damn burst. We're silent. We're holding them back. Get up his ass, okay? Get answers. Do not let him utter the word lawyer. Yes, sir. You're my best investigator, Diego. You clear this case? We're getting snapped with the mayor on the steps of City Hall. Fucking caviar, kid. I got it. Chatting up a storm? He's staying true to his street name. Not a peep. Morales. Morales. Heard you being a chatty Cathy. Relax, silent. Anyway. No, but I didn't see all the bullet holes in your homeboys out there. I swear fucking Freddy Krueger had a go at you, Holmes. The clique got cut up by some serious cats, son. Some killers. So far, we haven't turned up an ounce of powder, dope, meth, nada. Thinking I see a meeting? Maybe a secret one? What I don't see is shotgun lying dead out there. I'm gonna show you something. And I want you to take your ass out there and go check out the homeboys. And then you go understand. Understand what? Stop, 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 Silent has a tattoo on his forearm. Mito 9986. Those dead mantles have matching tattoos. Mito means myth. What's the date? My brother's birthday, which is also my birthday. Mito was Pedro's nickname. Jesus Silas, you know Jesus? I know Jesus. He gave it to him when he was a kid. Pedro was into Aztec and Mayan shit, all the legends, so Jesus called him myth. Pedro did a seven year bit of corkering for possession and trafficking. I don't need his rap sheet. No, no, no. He was born with the thug gene. All that barrio shit, I wasn't. I don't like family connections to major crimes, Diego. We were barely brothers, boss, okay? I stopped knowing anything about his life a long time ago. Well, if that shotgun's clicker, then what are all those vatos doing inked up? 
with your brother's nickname and date of birth, like some cult. I don't know. But I have the feeling it's linked to something bigger. It has to be. Diego, if your brother is really connected to this indirectly, peripherally, Martinez has got to pick up the slack and take over the case. Oh, come on, Cap. We're barely two months into this partnership. Plus, he's Chi-Town, man, Midwestern Mexican. This is Islos. He doesn't know these streets or these players like I do. Let me fucking figure it out. Por favor. Take Silent to Whittier, spend a little quality time with that shithead before the feds storm the castle. You need an escort? I don't want the lights. I want to get them to Whittier and the deal. Cuidate. It's all yours. Buddy. Did you call me a Midwestern Mexican? You heard that? What? Illinois is in the Midwest. Yeah, no, it sounded kind of shitty, like I can't hang or something. Bro, don't take things so personally. Anyway, that was a private conversation that I don't feel I have to account for. I just want to know where I stand. You're my partner, okay? I have your back and I hope you have mine. That goes without saying. Of course I got your fucking back. Well, I'm saying it anyway. Glad we nipped that in the bud. Hey, homie. Habla me. What are those tattoos supposed to tell me? Your brother. He knew this was coming, man. He warned us. That what was coming? Revolution. The fuck are you talking about, man? Come on, man. Talk to me. This is it. There's a clique meeting in secret. Shaka in there? Shaka wasn't there. So you were meeting without him? Shotgun hit his own squad. Hey. We were never part of Shotgun's clique on a red essay. Silent, someone went in on you. Hard. Who? Why? I'm gonna tell you something. Your brother didn't commit suicide. He was murdered. As a matter of fact, he was leading. Fuck! 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 What the fuck? The shooter, where's the shooter? You see the shooter? You see him? Get, get down, get down, man. The fuck is wrong with you, Diego? Get down! They weren't here for us. What? They were here for him. to their own goddamn precinct. You may think this matters, Captain Gomez. It doesn't. It's federal now, especially with a dozen dead bodies. And the one witness to this shooting shot out from under you while in your custody. What the fuck? I'd ask you to trim your tone, Agent. I don't like anyone yelling at me in my office. That isn't me. Captain, we know you're sandbagging us. Why don't we just establish that right now? Jurisdiction isn't just a $5 word, fellas. It happens to be what I have and what I'm exercising here at the local level. This is the federal level, so we're going to interview all your first responders and every single cop that had access to that crime scene. Especially the two detectives who transported the victim. Okay, get this straight, gentlemen. My division, my command, my call. Now, if you want to get a court injunction to supersede that authority, have at it. But the city of Los Angeles pays my mortgage, and that's who I work for. All right, well, we're not leaving here until we get an opportunity to interview those two fucking idiot detectives and transport what's his name silent. Good. There's a wooden bench out there with both your names on it. So thank you. And fuck you. Fuck you. Nice. Motherfucker. But no, 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 just a little blood. You don't have to come down here. Chrissy, don't come down here. Did you both get checked out? I gotta go. Fine, Cap. You got fucking blood all over your clothes. 
Now, what in the high holy fuck happened with Silent? He got sniped by one hell of a shooter. Or just straight mercenaries based on the precision of that hit. Boss, Shotgun might have had his own squad killed. Wait a minute, did Silent confirm this? He said, and I quote, we were never Shotgun Sleeker. And why don't we issue for shotgun? Get that fucker in here. Now, that fucking APB will get picked up by the feds, and then it'll become a fucking track meet to see who gets to him first. Mm -hmm. They don't know about shotgun. And we need to keep it that way until we can lock him down ourselves. Hey, do you want to talk about what Al Silent said before he was shot? What the fuck is this? Therapy? What did he say? Diego, what did he say? Nothing. Shit talk. That my brother didn't kill himself, that he was murdered. And the only person that would believe that wholeheartedly would be my mother. This investigation's gonna have every swinging dick between here and Ventura County trying to wax their fucking resume with my murder scene. The only leg up we have left is your brother. Get into his world, Diego, and find out who's fucking with ours. I miss him every day, Mijo. Yeah. I know you do, Mom. Mom. Uh, what did you do with Pedro's belongings? The stuff he left in his room. I haven't touched his room since he passed. Is there anything in there? Box from prison. Stuff from his cell. That's basically it. Mom, I'm working a case that may be connected to Pedro's death. A bunch of guys were gone down at a warehouse off Soto Street. Could this be the same people that killed your brother? Maybe. And can you catch them? It's a possibility. Go see what's in there. I never bring myself to go through his things. Is that bad? Why would that be bad, Mom? I don't know you. I feel like if I don't feel sad for your brother and remind myself of that sadness, then the spirit might somehow slip away. This is it? All this stuff? He didn't live here that long. And he still had that, what do they call it? Cell block mentality. 
You mean he hid things? I mean he lived very simply. How did he spend his days, Mom? You know, these are things that you would know if you had put your pride aside and reconnected with your brother. Look, I don't want to reopen all this right now. My little and I were very different people. You were brothers. And that should have mattered to the both of you. Did you have any mail coming to the house? You should have. You should have looked out for him, Diego. You should have tried harder. He looked up to you. Mom, what did we call him? Shortcut. That's what we called him. And everyone thought it was funny. So at some point, it wasn't funny no more. Didn't want to do the work. That was Pedro, did not want to do the work. Didn't matter what I did, how I tried to help him out, hook him up with jobs, with legit jobs, he wanted to sling dope. He defended drug dealer. Still. You dishonor your brother. No. Oh. You do. You dishonor me and all the hard work that I put in to not be dead before my 30th birthday. Are you really going to find out who killed my son? Your son? Who are you speaking to right now? Mahuda? The police? You've never made me feel bad about being a cop, so son, I don't start now. Then don't make me feel bad about being a mother, detective. Pedro's mail is next to the phone in the kitchen. Something Pedro's. I found a photo of Shaka and my brother and this third cat whose face is scratched out. Know that enemy's written in the back. That ain't a world-class fucking clue we're gonna get one. Yeah, well, the feds are good at reconstructing those kinds of images overnight, but we're not. Well, you know, I got this buddy back in the shine. He works for Homeland. I tell you what, take a couple pictures on your phone, send them through. I'll see if you can help us out. Cool. Sending now. the United States declared war on Mexico. Then President James Polk sent Marines to secure the state of California, which was still a Mexican territory. U.S. Navy Commodore Robert F. Stockton arrived on July 14th and declared California conquered. But the early Angelinos, people like you, you and me, did not surrender so easily. We revolted against these soldiers, eventually winning the siege of Los Angeles. Firme que no. Okay, chavalitos, that's it for today. Remember, next week, we're gonna be talking about the playwright Luis Valdez, artist Pedro Cervantes, the journalist Rubén Salazar, and all my Chicano heroes, huh? Orale, kids. You take care, huh? You must have told me about the siege of Los Angeles at least a hundred times, you know? <laughs> Some stories never get old. They say you keep teaching us. So you got a burner, huh? You heard. Yeah, I hear about everything. So you heard that every last one of those vatos was tattooed with the word mito? I can't talk to my mom about Pedro. It's just, just too emotional. But I know that, uh, that you kept up with him. And I need to find out exactly what the fuck he was up to these last few years. I can tell you this, and this you probably already know. But your brother had a pull, Diego. He drew people in. He had the makings of a leader, of a protector. Come on, Jesus. 
We both know who Pedro was. He banged and got bit by the bullshit. He went inside. But that's not the man that came out of the Pinta homes. That man was rebuilt, reborn. Sorry. Yo, what's up? I just found shotgun. A robbery homicide, CI down to mountain. He's throwing a pachanga on Cesar Chavez. Hang tight. I'm on my way. I gotta roll. Catch you later. We got them, huh? in the ghetto, they move like the Gestapo. Drunk off their power and greed, they often hostile. My little homie talk shit back and they beat him back. That boy in the hospital, now he looking back. So how far back do you and Shotgun go? Childhood. We grew up two blocks from one another. His father was a baller back in the day. This about the local shot caller named Shadow. Got murdered when we were kids. And Shotgun's eclipsed his old man in every way. I call him Malibu's Most Wanted. He's got a big beach house out in Zuma and only rolls through the barrio when he wants to show out. There he is. That is fucking car. What kind of asshole throws a street party less than 24 hours after wiping out his own clica? Kind of doesn't want to appear guilty. <laughs> Detective Diego Hernandez, huh? The Huda! Just came to the hood. Shit. Huh? Respect. I'm here every night hustling. He takes care of us. Not paddleboarding Point Doom like you. It's nice. You should try. No? <laughs> I'll show you around. Yeah, invite me down. <laughs> so I gotta ask you the obvious. How is it you're out here rolling this hard when all your homies are lying dead in the morgue downtown? Detective, the LAPD has robbed you of your heritage. This is how we celebrate the dead. When I die, I want you, and you, and all y'all motherfuckers. It's rage. Oh, I'm sure you got nothing to worry about there. Be a fucking block party when you go down, dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's gonna be a minute, Detective. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Never did get that scar stitched up, did you? I'm sure you told your homies here you caught a shiva county, but we both know the truth, don't we? Your mom was like Indiana Jones and she got started with that bell, homie. Remember that shit? Pass, pass, pass. Damn, man, she fucked you up. Well, check this out, officers. Tomorrow we got a lowrider party coming through. So many bitches, all right? I know with your salary, you probably won't be able to get a girl, but you know, I got groupies. Please tell me this fool Jose is not for real. Who the fuck you calling Jose, Carlos? Who the fuck is Jose? You asshole. Where'd you find this coconut? Huh? How about you take up the badge? And that pistola and we'll handle it out like real men. Throw it down for real. We can throw them deuces in the streets. I know, nigga. Call it. You challenging a cop to a gunfight? This ain't your territory, homeboy. I see you. I see my brother Pedro. Help me out with the third fool. Don't know. Something tells me I find out who this motherfucker is. And all the pieces fall into place. Dad's gonna come looking for you. Those murders got a lot of dicks hard. We're looking for something to fuck. Have fun. That's what I thought. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? What do you mean? What, what the fuck was that? 
He tapped his goddamn waistband. I mean, I, he challenged me into a gunfight. What Bullshit. The he went in on you and you didn't like it. Fuck your pride and play it out. He lets us process him and perp walk him and do three hours of paperwork. And the moment his ass hits a chair, he says one word, lawyer. And he'll do it just to fuck with us and waste our time. If we don't have him ice cold for the crime of murder, we don't have him at all. Oh, it's my boy. It's my boy. Well, Mikey, talk to me, dog. My motherfucker. No, no, no. Send it through now. You got it. Saul Campos, a.k.a. Jaws, rumored to be the illegitimate son of this asswipe. Alejandro Truco, a.k.a. El Gallo, the de facto head of the Verdugo cartel out of Sinaloa, Mexico. Now, Jaws was serving a five-year bid up at Tehachapi, and he's set to be released tomorrow, paroled out ten months early for good behavior. There's a reason for Shotgun's party. So welcome home for Jaws. Why haven't I heard of this fucking guy? Well, unlike most clowns that claim to be El Gallo's son, Saul here, he's kept his mouth shut. He's an anchor baby. You know, mom's with some minor felon that El Gallo banged on a field trip to L.A. Homegirl, she hung on to the kid, moved back to Mexico, and got paid. There's rumors that she's the one really running the show in Sinaloa. Now, El Gallo, he's rare in that he's a known nationalist, big believer in the notion of Reconquista, the reclamation of the former Mexican Empire before the secession of 1848. The fuck does that mean? It means that he thinks that Cali, along with the entire southwestern portion of the U.S., should return to Mexican rule. Wait, that Hitler wanted Europe back. I think we have our bad guys. Shotgun gave up the clica to the Verdugos. The Mexicans are expanding up north, and he wants a big seat at the table. Charles being released means they can start making moves. The clica wasn't feeling this. They didn't exactly want to hand over Isos to the cartel, especially not to someone like El Gallo. Shaka knew this and cleaned house. Took down his own clica. How does all that sound when I say it out loud? That sounds about right. Okay, but well, what does any of this have to do with your brother? Remember always that all of us, and you and I especially, are descended from immigrants and revolutionists. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Revolution is not for the worthless. Revolution is a struggle between the future and the past. Don't give us wrong. Oh, just woke up. My breath is funky. Okay. I like funky. What's wrong? Case. A problem. I all these books on revolution. American, French, Russian. I don't get it, my brother wasn't like this. He, he wasn't into this shit. Maybe he was, babe. I mean, you admit that you stopped really knowing him. You haven't seen him in so long. Maybe, maybe he changed. Maybe prison changed him. He was a thug, okay? He was a bad guy who dealt drugs and shot people. He was your brother, Diego. He was your brother. And I'm sure there was a time that you loved him very much. When you were boys, when you were little, when you were chavalitos. And you know, if all of this is that clear cut and he really is just a thug, why is it still bothering you? Listen to this. We are Mexican American. American is not caps. No crip of blood ever banged for Nigeria or Ghana or the continent of Africa. They banged for Compton. I banged for mi barrio, for Islos, por vida, for I am Mexican-American again in all caps. 
Dead Vatos in that warehouse, they were inked with the same tattoo. Mito, which is Pedro's nickname. And the number is 9986. Your birthday. And his. Why couldn't you say something? I want you to go weird about no, it. No, you didn't want to admit that this freaked you out. Pedro's reaching out to you. Vanessa, come on. It's not my mom. Okay, don't get all voodoo Mexicana bruja on me. I don't like that shit. Okay, you don't think it's just a little bit unusual? That your biggest case since becoming a detective is somehow connected to your own brother? I've always believed in that stuff, man. Signs, intuitions, gut feelings, just things that make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. You may not believe in that energy, the energy that the dead carry for the living. Ten. That ain't three.
Diego. What does this mean to you? Come in. It was like this, a layer almost, like a ghetto back cave. I've never seen anything like it before. He had a blacked out Harley with riding leathers that were retailored to slot ballistic plates. Fucking bulletproofing, this was... I remember where I saw this. That freak that killed Shadow when we were kids. The man on the motorcycle. Get away! Who was he? If you saw it, it meant somebody on your block was a target. Someone was getting killed. In the barrio, bad things happen when the sky turns black. Who was he? I've heard stories going back as far as the 40s. After the Zoot Suit riots, this misterioso black hooded motorcyclist is spotted moving through the barrio. These little urban legends stay alive through the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. Anytime shit got hot in the hood, <laughs> you'd hear those chopper pipes homes on. The motherfuckers would put their pistolas away and call it a day. Gangsters found God out of fear of the devil. I found this in the unit. There's dozens of them. Journal entries talking about revolution. He considered the cartel an invading force that was coming to reclaim the city, the barrio. And they had to be battled back and beaten like the original colonists fought back the fucking British. Listen to this, man. My brother Diego can fight this fight from the side that is right and good. I am neither right nor good. I will make up the difference in blood. He was amassing these things, Jesus. Gathering them up. The mask, the motorcycle, the stencil. I think he wanted to become this. I never did. I'm on my way. Gotta go. Orale, carnal. Shit down in there. Look at happy feet over there. Not a care in the world. <laughs> this fucking clown. That's why I wiped that smug ass smile off that motherfucker's face. And he baked both his arms and I slapped him in cuffs. I may have given it some thought. Yo, you dig up anything new on Pedro? You want to hear something I never thought I'd hear myself say? What's that? I'm no longer 100% certain my brother killed himself. Really? 
Why? Things he was doing before he died. Those vatos, the tattoos. They were loyal to my brother. Or at least what they thought he stood for. You know, did you ever get a look at your brother's homicide sheet? Morgue book. His death was ruled a suicide. I never even spoke to the detective in charge. Oh, yeah, here we go. Looks like a VIP. Yep. Is that our guy? Hello, Josh. Bingo. Oh, the motherfuckers are thick as thieves. Shit, they're speaking Spanish. You take Jaws, I'll take Shotgun. Yeah, it's shitty, man. I can barely hear him. Gotta keep shit on the DL, I said. Uh, too much heat with the, uh, with the cops and the FBI. What is it, the cops and fuck them? And fuck the cops and the feds. We're gonna war on all of those. It's it's fucking cutting cut, out, cutting man. off head shit. Now fuck this. We're missing the mind. Turn, turn the engine. Look, 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 look. at the chateau. Uh, the others are at the standard and the sunset tower. This is true, yeah. Yeah, on the strip. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. We'll hit the marquee tomorrow night for the Mexicanos and some pussy. Fucking music. Did you hit the memorial? Yeah, I did. They should have us traitors. These traitors. All of them. They still gave them bitch asses professional deaths. They didn't spare a dime on that shit. Not like their little leader. He's not no Mito no more. Yeah, you took care of that shit, dog. You know I did. That motherfucker just admit to killing you. Fuck, we got mad. We got fucking mad. Shit. Oh, fuck, they're coming, man. Hold on. Fuck, you're hit, man. Oh, fuck. Put it up against the wall. Put it up against the wall. Come on, Dave! Stay with me! We're gonna put that shit back in! I swear to God, I'm gonna get you to a fucking hospital! They're gonna put it right back in! Fuck off, motherfuckers! Oh, 
fucking turn over! Turn over, you piece of shit! Fuck! Start, motherfucker! Start! Start, you piece of shit! Pause outside to adjust your tie. The date was dead. Might have to suspend you, Diego. Might not have a choice. Fucking feds knocking on every door in the division. How about Martinez's murder? Shotgun and Jaws, huh? I can't charge him. Deal, get me back. Not enough evidence. Are you sure you didn't see one of those fucking assholes point a smoking pistol at you? I want to get Vanessa out of town. Mm -hmm. Maybe my mother, too. Yeah. Get him down to the den in Oxnard. The Ventura Sheriff's keep tabs on him for a while. I think I want to put a couple patrolmen on your door, too. The accident, Martina, the stuff, the camera, everything burned. What did you hear? Shit talk mostly. Nothing big. They're coming. The cartel. The Verdugo. El Gallo. He wants to plant a flag in LA and reset the game. And it's open season on every one of us that doesn't want to see that happen. You know, Diego. I was being straight with you. I have to tell you, I'm not sure what to do next. Oxnard. So I want to make sure that you're okay. Okay? Plus, I know how much you love La Jura. I only have to love one cop. There's a pot of caldo de res in the fridge. Got it. And the thing, um, a tin of uh, carnitas. Thank you. Be safe, Diego, eh? Extra safe. 
tú eres el último amor que me queda en mi vida. ¿Me entiendes? Vamos, suavecito, está bien, está bien. Sí, sí, ya voy. Work upset with you? Was work upset with me? That's the question you're asking me right now? Yeah, that you have to take time off. What's wrong with me asking you that? I think you're burying the lead, don't you think? What the hell happened with Martinez? We're gonna take care of that. Okay, so just business as usual, huh? And yeah, what do you want me to do? Just break down and start crying. You still haven't clarified any of this for me. I'm not LAPD, How long baby. Are we we don't do for? clarity, okay? Come on. upset with you. I actually think I'll be the toast of the break room. Not too many elementary school teachers are marked for death. Don't joke about that. I have to joke about it because the reality of it makes me want to scream. It's just a precaution. We don't know if they were targeting me, Bunny. Okay, they, they, they saw the strange car. Two guys sitting inside. And, and they just started randomly shooting. Yeah. They just started shooting. That's not what I see, baby. What do you see? Rage. Diego. Felt like you should have these things. I think Pedro would have wanted it that way. Jesus. P.S. Look at your brother's sketch of a Chicano. On his belt is a tech bar. An Aztec war knife. They believe that every soul sacrificed at the edge of this blade would then inhabit the knife itself. Giving power to the warrior who wielded it. Passing these things, Jesus. Gathering them up. The mask. The motorcycle. I think he wanted to become this. I never did. Where are you from? He's lost. Islos. That motherfucker just admit to killing your brother.
a good Sicario, homie. What? Sicario, I say. The guy was all about that blood, carnal. Mexicano. Puro. That's me, homie. Should be my right hand, carnalito. I bring you along, we can fall out this fucking bitch. One of these fucking guys, that's it. You know how we do this shit. Hola, Alex. Always, huh? Always, homie. Por vida. Por vida, es. Pura sangre. Now let's get some fucking pussy, homie. Just a minute, Cap. Hey, boss. Saul Campos is dead. Jaws, whatever the fuck they called him. Ow. Downtown nightclub marquee. What happened? Some rampage to that Bonda. Rip shit right, fuck shit up. Killed a bunch of Mexican nationals. Campos, Jose Galan. Shotgun. Fucking asshole. Apparently he was there, but he disappeared. Who are these Mexican nationals? I'd make them Soto Street shooters if I could. Your leg is bleeding. Huh? 
your leg is bleeding. Goddamn cuts from the crash keep opening up. You mind handing me the rag from the counter over there, Kev? Maybe a bottle of water, too. It's fucking pills. You put in the paperwork for my suspension yet? I haven't gotten around to it. What about Martinez's body? What are we doing with him? Yeah, ship him to Chicago. He's got family there. I want to see him before you do that. Is that okay? So, uh, you have any theories? On tonight? Who hit the spot? I mean, when you said Jaws was dead, I was like, good. Fuck him. Based on that, I don't really see why my opinion matters, boss. He's responsible for Martinez's death as far as I'm concerned. So I'm glad he's gone. I just wish they'd gotten a shotgun too. So you wish you could have taken a shot at him? I bet your ass I do. Whatever your brother has that's relative to this case, I'm gonna need to take it right now. Just a bunch of prison shit. I want it. It's right over there. Take care of that leg. Escuchas eso? Son los llantos de su madre. Solo una cosa puede calmar esas lágrimas. Venganza. Venganza contra el hombre responsable. Voy a Los Ángeles a encontrarlo. Nos vemos pronto. Cara a cara. Sí, señor. Looking for the suspect. Detective, we got processing. Who's this? Another DB from the Marquee. That thing that went down last night? What happened? Well, these guys got done and nobody's really talking about it, which tells me I really shouldn't be talking about it, but it was bad. This guy is supposedly the son of some Mexican kingpin drug lord. We haven't had this many bodies come through here, ever. 
Sorry. Oh, give me a minute. Thanks. you today. Somebody choked you out. Shotgun is going to be along to join you real soon, so... Tesoro, mi rey. Tú descansa, mi hijo. Vamos a agarrar el cabrón. Abrela. Tengo el corazón quebrado, hermano. Y no sé cómo arreglarlo. que mató a tu hijo es el mismo vato que asesinó a mi padre y la policía no hizo nada lo dejó ir I've lived with that loss my entire life as you will live with this loss for the rest of yours no podemos revivir a tu hijo Así, igual como mi padre. Lo 
but we can avenge them both. As a father, and a son. Primero les avisamos con sangre a las placas de los ángeles. Luego, le toca al asesino de mi hijo, de tu padre. ¿Cómo dices que se llama? El chicano. Fucking blew us up. Who? Who? The cartel. The fucking Mexicans. Fucking. Let's get you out of here. No, you I can stand fucking up? stand up. I can stand up. Come on, come on, come on. They took our people, Diego. They took our people. Can I get a paramedic over here? I took my fucking cops. I took my fucking cops. Come on, get him to an ambulance. Come on. I got you, sir. It's an ugly thing. But cops will fall. Cities will fall. The Verdugo will rise. Shields will fill the streets. 170 años de opresión de mi pueblo. Pero no más. Puente de la autopista, se cuelgan estos dos. Los demás, sus pedazos me los riegan en los escalones del Palacio Municipal. Eso no es México, cabrón. Y nunca lo será. Siempre lo ha sido mi paisana. No lo robaron. El extranjero es el gringo. Él, él es el ladrón. Ah, ah, cabrón, nos ganamos la lotería.
I'm a friend. Está aquí buscando venganza. And here I am. Ahora te unirás con tu hijo en el infierno y morirás on American soil, en tierra americana.
Got the hands to throw with me, motherfucker. Demon's eyes that killed my father! No, my enemy. Pedro owed you this.
Detective Diego Hernandez, working in a dangerous undercover capacity after the murder of his partner, Detective David Martinez, was investigating key members of the notorious Verdugo drug cartel in an effort to expose their plans to infiltrate and terrorize Los Angeles. The cartel, led by Alejandro Truco, more infamously known as El Gallo, launched an unprovoked attack on our very own Whittier police station last week, killing several police officers and wounding several others. This represents the first time since September 11th of 2001 that foreign elements have conducted an assault against U.S. citizens on American soil. Detective Hernandez displayed bravery, courage, and the mental and intestinal fortitude of the LAPD's finest, single-handedly tracking down the perpetrators and prevailing in a brutal gun battle that claimed the lives of both Alejandro El Gallo Truco and the man believed to be his second-in-command in Los Angeles, Jose Shotgun Galan. Que nuestros enemigos no encuentren refugio de la tormenta que se avecina y que su sangre pague la sangre nuestra. Pedimos esto en nombre de nuestro Padre Celestial, Dios Eterno. En nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Voy por ti, el chicano. Te chingaste a la familia equivocada. It's all out war now. But this is a war that we need to fight from the right side of the law, Diego. El Gallo, fuck him. Those Verdugos are gonna regroup. They're gonna fucking come at us tenfold. And we meet them. We fight. And we fight. Like this. Not like that. Hey, boss. Who was it? Back in the day. Gonna need to see some ID. <laughs> so bad. It's all the excitement. Get what's what It's just gonna get deep, eh? Watch out. Watch for you, watch for me, and see. Okay. Right. Your LAPD's pride and joy. Made it. Randy. How you feeling? Right now, like we fried shit. So what are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing at all. You got the tech button? What? The knife. The Aztec knife. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You know. I think Pedro would have really wanted you to have it. Who knows? It might come in handy. Right. Around the house. In the barrio? Bad things happen when the sky turns black.
My brother Diego can fight this fight from the side that is right and good. I am neither right nor good. I will make up the difference in blood. Where are you from? Isos. I'm from Ivarrio.